my name is Mindy Meyer and I'm running for New York State Senate in the 21st District of Brooklyn. How about you come take a drive with me? from when I was 11 and a half years old, actually. Um, I was in the streets of Manhattan, and I met Mayor Giuliani. He was doing an interview with Dan Rather, and I approached him, and I told him that he's the best mayor we ever had, and he said, I'm probably the only mayor you ever had. How old are you? So I said that I'm 11 and a half years old, and he said, well, maybe not. And then, actually, a half year later, I sent him an invitation to my bat mitzvah, and I thought he would actually show up, but he did send me a letter congratulating me on it. And um, from there, I was on a high school debate team, and I went on to Turo College, and I majored in political science. And now I'm at Turo Law School, and I decided to obtain a law degree as a segue into the political arena. Do you know who Kevin Parker is? Yeah, the senator. Yeah, so I'm running against him in this election. Do you know that he was in office for over 10 years? Can you list me one thing that he did? I'm running against Kevin Parker oh, in the I November. See. You saw me on the news? Well, you know what? I'll, do I have your vote, sir? Come on, Kevin Parker, you know, for over 10 years he's been in office, right? And you, none of you people could tell me one thing he did for you. That's because he doesn't give, he doesn't care about you. I'm going to go up to the Senate and I'm going to represent what you want. You know, what, what do you, I'm saying, what do you lose by voting for me? I'm saying Kevin Parker showed you for 10 years he screwed up. So by putting me up there, do you have anything to lose? Nothing. Nothing. Do I have your vote, sir? Yes. I have your vote? What are you, a Democrat or Republican? I'm a Democrat. Okay, but even though you're a Democrat and I'm running on the Republican line, you know, that's just a technicality. But what I'm here for is you. Okay. So do I have your vote? You can have yeah? yeah? All I need to do is just go to my district and get their votes. Like, I'm just going to, okay. <laughs> So the media attention has been overwhelming. CNN coverage, Channel 11, ABC, the New York Post, the Daily News, Politico, every, you know, well-known website, as well as, you know, every single eyewitness news, all the Fox News, Good Day New York. We're rescheduling something with Anderson Cooper. Coming up is Mike Huckabee. We're meeting with MTV, Bravo. I was gonna make a U-turn, but you can't film it. Like senators can't do illegal <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I actually have to make a U-turn because if I don't, then it's gonna take an hour and a half to get around the block. So. I would use my moral and religious values as a compass, and I'm basically out there to stomp out the corruption that is involved with politics. And I think we need someone involved that is fresh, new, young, innovative, and creative to bring their insights and ideas into the Senate with no corruption. The way that I feel that I would combat corruption is that I wouldn't involve, get involved with anything scandalous or anything that corrupt that's going on and I would remain firm to my values and just always do the straight and right thing and if I have a, if something's questionable I would consult with people and I would just not let it get to me, the political career, and I plan to remain firm in my beliefs. It's just not something that they're used to, you know, having a 22-year-old Orthodox religious girl, you know, involved in politics and in the limelight, and, you know, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. In fact, a lot of people are saying that it would be unbelievable if I did win the election, you know, we would have another voice in the government. So I'm here to be an advocate for all my constituents, um, whoever they are, whatever party they come from, and whatever religion they represent. My political role model is actually former Mayor Rudy Giuliani. And, you know, just like he was known not only as the mayor of our city, the mayor of our country, I hope to, you know, with all the changes that I anticipate on doing, I want to be known as not just the senator of New York. I want to ultimately, you know, maybe one day run in the presidential elections and be there for the entire country. You're going to introduce me to all your friends and I'm going to come there and speak to them and I'm going to hear what each one of them has to say and I'm going to take what they say up to Albany with me. Okay. Because you don't have time to go to Albany now, right? Not right now. Right, so I, don't worry, I can take care of it for you. Okay. Okay.